Welcome back everyone. In the last video, we discussed the basics of the MAND prod set and how to render it using Python. In this video, we will be creating an interactive app that allows you to explore the MAND prod set in a more intuitive and interactive way. To get started, we'll start by importing the necessary libraries, CV2 and NumPy. Next, we'll define some variables, such as the aspect ratio, resolution, and center of the Mandelbrot set. We'll also set some initial values for the max iteration, color modulo, color map, and key. We also create a window for our app called Mandelbrot. Next, we'll add the mouse callback function, which will allow us to get the coordinates of a mouse click on the window, this will be useful later when we want to move around the Mandelbrot set. Now we'll create the main loop for our app. In this loop we'll listen for keyboard input and perform different actions based on the input. Now we're getting into the fun part. This code defines three functions that we'll use to generate our final image. They are very similar to the ones from the previous video. The first function, getComplexPlane, takes the start, stop and num parameters to generate the x and y arrays, and then the mesh grid of real and imaginary values to create our complex plane. The second function f, this is the mathematical operation that will perform repeatedly to determine whether a point is part of the Mandelbrot set or not. Finally, we have apply in times. This function takes our complex plane c, our initial values z, and the number of times we want to perform the operation in, and returns a count of how many iterations it took for each point to escape the set. This function is slightly different from the one we looked at before. This means that we can start with our initial set values and escape counts and call the function with an increase in each time to update our values and escape counts. Alright, now let's move on to the next section, which is all about making the image look nice. We start off with a function called make image nice. This function takes in the image, the modulo value and a color map. The purpose of this function is to colorize the image and make it look visually appealing. First, we get the Mandelbrot set using a mask that selects all the pixels in the image with the maximum value. Then we apply the modulo to the image to scale the values. We convert the values to 8-bit and colorize the image using the color map. Finally, we color the Mandelbrot set black to create a striking contrast. The next function is text overlay, which takes in the image and information about the image. This function adds text to the image to give information about the center, radius, resolution and number of iterations used to create the image. Here's a code section that we'll use to re-center our view of the Mandelbrot set. The function takes in two arguments, chords and C. It starts by getting the complex point of the coordinate where we last clicked. Then it sets the center of the view to this complex point and calculates the new start and stop coordinates for the view. 
finally, it returns the updated sender, start and stop. This function will allow us to easily resender our view to a more interesting part of the set. This code defines two functions, zoom in and zoom out, that control the zoom level of the metal rod set. The zoom in function takes in the current radius and divides it by two to zoom in. It then calculates the new start and stop coordinates based on the new radius and returns the updated radius start and stop. Similarly, the zoom out function takes in the radius and multiplies it by two to zoom out. It also calculates the new start and stop and returns the updated values. These functions allow for easy control of the zoom level of the Mandelbrot set visualizer. In this piece of code, we are handling the max iter value, which determines the number of iterations applied to calculate the Mandelbrot set. The max iter up function increases the max iter value by multiplying it by 2, while storing the last max iter value in the last max iter variable. The max iter down function reduces the max iter value by dividing by 2 and sets the last max iter value back to 0. These functions are useful in allowing us to fine tune the detail of the Mandelbrot set visualization. Now we have the final four functions. The first function save image saves the current image of the set with a descriptive naming format. This includes the start and stop values of the x and y axis, max iter, the color map used, and the mod value. The next function, bool cmap, increases the current color map by 1 and limits it to 22. The third function, resolution up, increases the resolution of the visualization by 20%. This makes the image clearer and more detailed. Lastly, the fourth function, resolution down, decreases the resolution of the visualization by 20%. This makes the image less detailed and can help speed up exploration. And with that, we have successfully coded a simple but capable Mandelbrot set visualizer. Thank you for watching and happy exploring.